This is a tutorial on how to complete a transfer of ownership with the Appaloosa Horse Club. You can begin by going to our website at appaloosa.com. Click on the downloadable forms link. Here you will find the transfer of ownership form. Now you will have two options. Option 1, you can print this form and fill it out by hand, or Option 2, you can type directly in the fillable form. At the top of the form on the left-hand side, you will find our mailing address and some basic directions on how to complete the transfer. Below that, you will list your horse's registered name and number as it appears on their certificate of registration. This is an example of your horse's registration certificate. You will find the registered name here and the registration number here. If you are sending this transfer in with a registration application for an unregistered foal, please identify the foal by the foaling year and the sire and the dam. You will leave the horse's name and registration number blank because it hasn't been assigned one yet. To the right of the horse's name, you will find an area to indicate the sex of the horse. If the horse has been gelded, please provide the date the operation took place. We do need the date in order to update your horse's certificate. Below the horse's information, you will find a box to indicate the date of sale. In order to complete a transfer, we need the date of sale, so be sure to provide the date you took ownership of the horse. Next, you will find the buyer section of the transfer form. Please list the ownership of the horse as you want it to appear on the certificate. If you are listing the ownership of the horse in a joint ownership, be aware of the difference between putting the word and or or between the names. If you put the horse in an and ownership, all owners would be required to sign as sellers if the horse is sold in the future. If you put the horse in an or ownership, only one of the owners would be required to sign as a seller if the horse is sold in the future. To the right of the buyer line, you will see a box for your member number. If you already have a member number, you can fill it in. If you are a new member, you can leave this box blank and we will fill it in once we have assigned you a member number. Below the buyer line, you will find an area to provide the necessary mailing address, phone number, and email address. If you have moved and need your information updated in our records, please check the box on the left-hand side of the address. Please note that we cannot accept transfers that have been altered. This would include scratching or crossing anything out on the buyer line, as well as using white out on the buyer line. If this has occurred, please get a new signed transfer from the seller before you send it to the APHC. Below the buyer info is the seller section. The last recorded owner of the horse is the party the Appaloosa Horse Club requires to sign as a seller. To confirm who the last recorded owner of the horse is, you can check the certificate of registration. If the horse has had only one owner, you will find the person's name on the front of the certificate under the original owner. If the horse has been transferred, refer to the back of your certificate. Here you will find an affixed label that the APHC has created to officially record the transfer of ownership. If you are still unsure of who the last recorded owner of a horse is, please call our office for assistance. Please indicate the seller's name and address and phone numbers and obtain the seller's original ink signature. We do need the seller's signature and ink pen, so the seller will have to sign the form after it has been printed out. If the horse is in an AND ownership, be sure to have all the sellers sign the transfer report. If the recorded owner 
Selling the horse is a minor and can write or print his or her signature. It is required that they sign the transfer report. If the minor is too young to write or print their name, we will accept the parent's signature, providing the age of the minor is given. At the bottom of the form, you will find the fee section. Fees are subject to change. If you have an old transfer form, you may still use it. Just know that current fees will apply. Keep in mind at least one of the buyers needs to have a membership for us to complete the transfer with member rates. If you are already a current member, you would only need to pay for the transfer. If you wish to transfer the horse and purchase a youth membership, be sure to fill in the youth's birth date and have the parent or guardian sign. For the youth's membership to apply to the transfer, they would need to be listed as one of the owners on the buyer line. At the bottom of the fee section, you will see a box to check if you need to update your horse's certificate. This would apply if your certificate is in poor condition, like being ripped or torn, water damaged, or laminated. We would have to issue a new certificate if it has been laminated. Another reason to check this box would be if you wanted to update the photographs on the back of the certificate. In any of these situations, we would require for current photographs of the horse. A left side, right side, direct face, and rear view that show the whole horse with clean legs standing on a hard surface. These photos need to be printed on good quality photo paper, no larger than 4 by 6 inches. Please note that fees apply to make a new certificate. On the back page of the transfer report, you will notice some additional options. If you do not wish to be a member, please submit your request in writing. Please note there is a non-member surcharge per application in addition to the transfer fee. Normal processing time is six to eight weeks. If you need to expedite this application, you may consider one of our rush options. These rush options are business days and do not include weekends, holidays, or mailing time. If you do choose a rush option, please write rush on the outside of your mailing envelope so that we can expedite it as soon as we receive it in our office. You will also notice some optional return shipping methods. If you wish to accelerate mailing time, consider adding UPS Next Day or US Postal Express. Please contact our office for the prevailing rates. If you don't select an optional return shipping method, the certificate of registration will be mailed by US First Class Mail. At the bottom of the form, you will find an area to provide a credit card. If you don't want to pay by credit card, you may include a check or money order made payable to the APHC. To avoid an invoicing fee, please be sure to include payment with your application. Once you have completed the transfer report, please send it along with the horse's original certificate and the required fees. We do recommend you mail that to us in a trackable way. If the certificate becomes lost in the mail, you will have to go back to the last recorded owner to have them help you start the process of getting a duplicate certificate issued. If you have any further questions about transferring a horse, please call our office at 208-882-5578 and dial extension 300 for the registration department.